What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, leave your comment down below and hopefully you like today's content. In today's video, we're gonna be obviously doing a unboxing and a speed test on the brand new TPG 5G internet, which is a pretty cheap alternative. You can go the 100 meg plan for $69 a month, um, 99 per month, or you can go the unlimited, like unlimited speed, which means you can get anything over, obviously 100 megabits, for paying $79.99. Depending on which option you want, if you just want the 100, 100 meg connection, you can just go $69, or you can go the unlimited uh, um, speed connection for $79. However, if 5G is not in your area, they will only give you this modem if 5G is in your area. However, if it isn't, there is another option again for $54.99, and it's 4G only, gives you 20 megabits per second unlimited data. All of these plans do give you unlimited data, um, so you can pretty much stream away and pretty much use unlimited data. But again, obviously the wireless broadband version is not suitable for 4K. The 5G version is suitable for 4K. Um, and also you get one month free on all of those plans. So that could be the wireless broadband one or the 5G ones. You get one month free and you get 21 days to really choose if you are satisfied with it. If you're not satisfied with it, not to worry, just return the modem back to TPG and they will um, obviously cancel your plan. Um, how easy is that? Very straightforward, no locking contract, free delivery, honestly the best thing to check out. And I've never actually tested out a wireless broadband service with TPG, so finally they do have one. It's all using the Vodafone network because as you know, TPG does use Vodafone. So um, it is using the Vodafone network. So if you've had a bad experience with Vodafone, maybe do not join this um, product here, but they are using the Vodafone network. Um, so let's basically do an unboxing and show you a little bit about the modem, what's in there, what's in the box, and then let's plug it in and basically do a speed test on it. Now I've done a little bit of a run through with it so I generally know how fast it is. So I can give you a bit of an insight of the modem before we even dive into it. So first of all, to give you one little bit of insight, when you plug in the modem and wait about two minutes or so, there's gonna be like three lights. Um, if they light up orange, it means you're only connected to 4G. If they light up green, you're connected to 5G. So keep that in mind. One issue that I have been facing in my particular area, it does say 5G is available, but it's only giving me the orange lights, meaning we can't access the true 5G network. However, um, yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, if that is something you do want to get the 5G network, and you notice the lights are always orange, it means you are not able to connect to that 5G network, meaning the tower is a little bit too far away from you. So that may be an idea to think about maybe return the modem or what you want to do there. But yeah, just wanted to give you that bit of insight. If the lights are orange, it means you're on 4G. If the lights are green, it means you are on 5G. With all that said, let's go unbox this thing and show you what's in the box and what you should really expect with the modem. Let's go do that. Alrighty guys, so this is the 5G home broadband uh, modem pretty much and it's built by Sagecom, as you can see right here. Now on the box, it doesn't really give you too much indication of um, what this thing does, but it tells you a little bit. So one thing I will just note, it is a Wi-Fi 6 modem. So that is one really, really good thing right there. So pretty much all you gotta do is plug it in and play. Um, you're really good. You can connect to your Wi-Fi easily using QR code, which makes it thing very easy to connect to without whacking in any passwords. Uh, obviously, I hope you can read this okay. You got Wi-Fi 6. Um, and then obviously you've got your 2.4 um, gigahertz and your 5G. You've got your two gigabit LAN ports, okay? Then you've got one uh, gigabit uh, WAN port as well, uh, WAN, meaning basically you can connect your original internet to this as well. So when your original internet goes off, you can have a backup 5G if you want to do that. And you get one internet cable included in the box. And that's all it really says. So let's just push this up and basically show you what else is in the box. Okay, so pretty much you're gonna get a safety guide so you don't try and blow yourself up. Um, you can take a read of that if you want. It just tells you exactly what to do, um, like um, if in, in case of an a, a danger problem, like don't have it over 55 degrees and all that sort of stuff. So don't put it somewhere incredibly hot where something probably could badly happen to it. Don't try not to do that. So here we go, we can open it up here. And basically, the first thing we've got is the modem. So it's quite a big modem. It's a little bit like the Optus ones, but again, it's still not the same brand. Um, then obviously, we've got a little bit of a guide booklet. So you can take a little look at that, which we'll show you about. Then we've got obviously a little sticker telling you what the Wi-Fi password is. Easy stuff. Then you've got obviously a power 
um, adapter right there. And lastly, you get one internet cable. So you do get one internet cable and that's everything in the box. So before we look at the modem, let's go take a look at the quick start uh, guide and basically just show you a little bit about that. And then we'll plug it in and do a little bit of a speed test. So this is what I was talking to you guys a little bit before about, just to give you an indication. See these lights, these ones right here? This tells you the strength. So if you're getting them really low, it means you're having massively issues connecting to the tower. But if you're that all fully up, if they're green, that's 5G. If they're orange, that is 4G. Um, basically right there. Um, basically, doesn't tell you too much, just tells you the ports, which we're gonna show you. And it does indicate what I just said there. If you take a look, green indicates uh, 5G and so on. And there's nothing really at the end you need to really read about. It's pretty simple right there. Let's go have a look at the modem. So this is the modem here. You can peel the plastic off the top. Make it nice and easy. Okay, that's basically that. And as you see, that's your on and the Wi-Fi, if Wi-Fi's on. And as I said, your signal strength and the colors mean the different connection you are, either 4G or 5G. Nothing really important there. You just scan this QR code if you want to connect to Wi-Fi without putting the passwords in. You can manage your settings by changing the Wi-Fi name and all that stuff by basically just going to that web address right there. Okay, just enter that in. Then enter in the following uh, username and uh, login. Okay, so that's everything there. So at the bottom here, you're gonna have a power. Uh, so obviously your power button, also you got your AC connection, your SIM card goes here, uh, that's where the SIM card goes, and then if we turn it around, there's not too much really you can do here. So you've got one internet port, so this another internet port, and then you've got another one here, and this one is for if you're gonna connect it to an existing internet, so your existing internet provider, or if you don't wanna do that, you can use these as three LANs, they work as three LANs, and also you have one USB-C. And then obviously you've got your WPS button right here. That's the modem right there. Very, pretty easy to really uh, talk to you guys about. That's how simple it is. All we really need to do now is plug it in and do a speed test and generally show you how fast it is. Now, as I said, I'm only on 4G, so this video isn't gonna give you a general idea on how fast it is. However, judging on 4G, it will tell you roughly what speed you're gonna get. Again, different areas are a bit different. But yeah, generally, if you get this, you should be getting 5G. If you're not getting 5G, think about maybe contacting TPG and see if they can do anything for you. All right, so let's go plug it in and show you how fast the modem is. What's up, guys? So the modem is already um, plugged in and ready to go. It's all booted up. And let's do a quick little um, speed test. As you see, it says Vodafone. Um, we're all good to go. So let's try the first speed test and see how fast it's going to be. So let's go quickly do this. So at first glance, the ping is um, not actually a good thing. As you can see, we're at um, 73 for the ping. That is incredibly bad. The speed is generally not too bad. However, you wouldn't want to select the max plan if you're not getting over 100 meg. Um, but that's that. So we'll just do it again. It shouldn't be that high. Um, we should be looking around 20 to 40 ping, um, not 73. So we'll just try that one last time, see if we get any better. And let's try take two and see if it's any better than it was before. Here you guys go. Let's hope it's focusing all right. So already a much better in the ping. Look, that's dropped way down to 30. Speed hasn't improved too potentially much. And as you see, the upload is exceptionally good. And always when I do speed tests, I always like to chuck in three lots of speed tests. That way we got the best idea of speed. So as you see, that's exceptional, the upload at least, um, is pretty exceptional. So let's just try it one last time. And again, everyone out that does join it is gonna have different experience. Um, I just wanna generally show you my experience with it. Generally, it is pretty good, um, depending on where you place it to. I have actually got up to 106 megabits per second on the modem. 
but um, yeah, it's a bit hit and miss if you actually get that. Again, I'm only getting 4G, I'm not getting the full uh, 5G, but if you look right here, right, automatically the download is actually slower than the upload, which is quite exceptional, which you don't ever see that normally. The upload is never faster than the download, so it's quite interesting that that is happening right here. But yeah, that's generally the speed test basically about the modem and so on. But yeah, hopefully this video gave you a general idea. Now you know what the modem looks like. Sort of the speed test. I just want to show you it is available. So TPG does have 5G. Check it out if you want. Again, if you don't like it, remember you've got that 21 day period to return the modem um, right then. One month free trial. How good is that? No lock and contract. Very, very good. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked today's video, remember always hit that subscribe button. Leave your comment down below and always give it a thumbs up. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.